Thank you for joining us today to learn how to use the Brother Candle Wicking Foot. Candle Wicking designs are beautiful and we have made this gorgeous fleur de lis cushion. Let's talk about the foot first of all. This is the Brother Candle Wicking Foot. As you can see it has an open toe which enables you to see where you are going. On the underside of the foot there is a channel. Because the candle wicking stitch is raised, this enables the stitch to sit neatly underneath the foot without getting caught. We are going to do the fleur de lis pattern. We have found this pattern in the Brother CM900 Scan and Cut, and so we have just printed it straight onto the linen fabric using a fabric marking pen, and underneath we have placed an interfacing to stabilise the work. Today we're going to use the Brother Bobbin Fill in the bobbin and we're going to use a Brother em Machine Embroidery Thread in the top. This is a nice balanced weight and because the stitch is quite intricate it gives a nice fine finish. We are using the Brother VQ3000 sewing machine today. We have selected the character decorative stitch icon at the top of the screen and then we have selected stitch number 6-155. This is a large stitch but we do have the option to make it smaller by pressing the double arrows on the right hand side of the screen. You simply go from L to S and you can see the size of the stitch change on the screen. You'll notice that the tension has automatically been reduced to 3.6. If your machine does not do this automatically, please reduce your tension before you start. We'd like you to slow your stitch down, your stitch speed down when you do this just to get the hang of things. We're doing a test run first. This stitch continues to make a little flower working around and then when it has stopped doing the flower you will notice that the foot does a stitch in the centre and then it does one long stitch in the front before it starts the next flower. This enables you to turn your work. So if you have the pivot function on your machine this is a great time to turn that on. So just show you here as we get around to the end of the flower, how it will do that one stitch in the centre and then one stitch forward. So this is where you would turn your work before you go around a corner. It's good to have a practice before you start to get the hang of this. When you've had a little practice, line the, the sewing line up underneath your foot and commence sewing nice and slowly. We do recommend you reduce your speed here and go nice and slowly following the design around and continue with those beautiful candle wicking stitches until you end up where you started. When you have completed your candle wicking stitches we're going to insert a zip at the base and have a nice matching backing piece and put borders around it. When you have done that, trim the corners off and turn it out the right way and there's your lovely candle wicked cushion. We hope you enjoy making this project.